this. I've been waiting for this. My YouTube is all over the board. Oh, I got a halo like this. My YouTubes are all over the board. One minute I'm doing crazy, crack, crack, crazy, wacky unboxing videos when I've had wonderful comments like, oh my God, this is like, this, what is it? Was it, this is a dumpster fire, whoa! You know, wonderful comments like that to me just building stuff like I did with my, my mini houses, which I'm gonna do more of. And to me just walking around the house or walking downtown or just walking around. It's everywhere. But if you watch my last video, I'm trying to change it up a little bit. I mean, I still want to do all that other stuff, so you, and that's why I put the little segments on there so you know what to watch if you don't want to watch it. But like I said, my last video, I'm trying to change it up, be a little more dramatic, where I call it thoughts, because I want to just do more cinematic stuff. And this right here, hopefully, will help me out with that. And we're going to unbox that today. So let's see what we got. Package. Whoa. Um, there's two packages in here. But, um, but yeah, this is, uh, where's that? There's their logo right there. There it is, the logo. But there's two packages in here. So let's see. I've got the, this is what I got. The, the uh, EO, uh, cam, <laughs> the Canon EOS C100. I heard, that, I heard this was like their third uh, cinematic camera. Maybe we'll have a fire tonight. Oh, M M P B right there. There's the website. The uh, I traded uh, a couple things for this. I traded a DJI uh, uh, drone and a Pocket Two for it. So first off, let's see what's in this. Oh, oh, this is, this is the, the camcorder or the uh, cinematic camera. Oh, okay. <laughs> so uh, yeah, this was, this came out in 2000 and uh, this came out in 2012 and it was at a cost of, uh, what was it? The cost of, uh, cost of, I think seven, eight thousand dollars when it first came out. Um, you can find these now with the handle and the grip and everything. You can find them now for around about $600. So let's move this down a little bit so you can see. But anyways, there's the uh, camera body itself. And this must be the accessories. Let's see. Oh, whoa, oh, brother. It came with a crap load of stuff. And I'll do it. I'm going to do it up close of it. But here we have the top handle, which should go on like so, tighten it down. The top handle. And the grip or side handle, which that just plugs on right in here. You can see, plugs in right there. Let's plug this in. Let's see if we can get, a, get it down a little bit. So, there we go, like that, and then it comes with a battery, camera strap, cord, charger, what the, oh, what the heck is this? Not exactly sure what that is. I'll figure that out. So, we're going to we're going to go give this a try. Go play with it. We're going to go do some nighttime shots and um, nighttime shots and daytime shots and all shots all around and and see how it goes. And then we'll do a little bit of more review of it. But there, there it is, right there. I traded it from with I trade with these guys right here. You can see that. I'll link them in the bottom below. And uh, let's go do some footage. Let's go make take some footage and see how it turns out. So see you in a minute.
Oh, my man's with the photography. Yes, sir, getting them angles. I like it. I'm not even a lot. I'm not even a lot. I'm not All that footage you just saw was from this right here, the Canon EOS C100. And it's a great little piece of equipment, shall we say. But it literally took me about two weeks to get anything. And well, let me show you why. So yeah, as you just saw, it didn't really go as planned. I mean, literally, I was getting, still trying to figure this thing out. I mean, and as you saw, every time I went to record, hit the standby button. And then as I would walk, record, standby, record, standby, record. It just didn't go my way. It just, it just sucked. And I'm looking at my paper there because I got down what I want. And so in this video though, in this video, we're going to talk about the pros and cons of what I like and well, what I don't like about this, this camcorder or this cinematic camera. And there's not a lot to dislike, but the one thing that I really don't like, well, it's a kind of a big deal compared to these other ones. And we'll get to that in a little bit. So, um, so back... <laughs> Now, I am going to compare this cinematic camera to my Sony, my other Canons right here, because this is close to what each of them are like, because these two are in the same class, and, well, the form factors, and this, these are in the same class as the form factor. And if you want the technicalities of this thing, like how the Zebra works and the, the Magnum, the Peking, and all that works, well, there's a thousand videos out there for you to go look at. And if you've watched any of my videos in the past, I... I'm not good at teaching. I fumble upon my words and we're not here to fumble. We are here to look at this camera and say, I might want that, but he didn't teach me enough. So I'm going to go somewhere else. So go watch this, like, subscribe, and, and then go over there because I'm trying to be entertaining. And if you look at my videos, I've got a lot going on and I want to try to share, share. I want to share it with you guys as much as possible. So what do we got going on here? Compare tech. Well, when this thing first came out, when this first came out, this thing was a whopping eight grand. Eight grand for this camcorder. But then again, I guess it was par for the course because this one came out about the same time, the same year. This one was seven grand. It was seven grand. So it was still, they were both pretty expensive. And if you wanted to pick one, like if you want to pick up this Canon today, if you wanted this one today, this thing would still put you back about four to six hundred dollars. Now, I didn't pay that. No, I didn't pay that. Holy crap, I did. I can't afford that. I can't afford it. But what I did was I did trade it for a, some other equipment that I have. Now, we will go over that in another video because um, I want to show, talk about how what equipment you need, what you don't need, where you could do a little bit better. But in this video, it's just focusing on this. So, we got for the cost. Now... Now, now, let us talk about the ease of use. Because seriously, if you are used to using an SLR, an SLR, or using this, well, it's second nature. I mean, you just pick it up and go. I mean, it literally took me an hour, an hour to figure this thing out. But it also might be the fact that I've used to using these, using, use, used to using this, but literally an hour. And if you look at the controls on it, there is not a lot going on, and it's pretty simple, but shoots beautiful imagery. Versus this bad boy, which took me, it took me, it took me a couple of days to figure out. I mean, it has got, it has got a lot going on. It's fun, but it's, it's a lot. It's a, just too much. You too much. You too much. But also, if you do like using an SLR, or this camcorder, well, guess what? This right here is second nature. Oh, I gotta get the image, but this is second nature, but hold that thought, second nature. We'll get, because like the SLR, it has the same type of handle. 
I mean, that is just, you pick it up, you go. The SLR, pick it up and go. Or if you're not really into the SLRs, you like the cam, camcorders, look at that, pick it up and go. And that's the beautiful thing about this because it's, it is almost like you're using a camcorder. You pick it up, gun and go, gun and go. If you don't hit the standby when you're recording, you gun and go. And that's a beautiful thing. So it's gun and go, right? Now, if you look at the handle, it is a controller. It has, it has a jog wheel, a magnifier, a scroll wheel here, and a start and stop button right here. But you know what's missing? Cords. It has no cords whatsoever around this thing. And that's because the cord is hidden in here. It is covered up with this we uh, this tight this ring your ring which tightens it on and so the cord is hidden in there which is a beautiful thing because I found out after using this it can mess up because this can this uh, handle has one one button for stop and go one and if you notice there's no cords the reason why is I cut it off because the cord kept getting in the way because the cord control stop and go control uh, wire goes from here out back and it sticks out here. So that means you're bumping it if you're holding it, and that's what happened with this one. But the, the, the but the the wire screwed up and just wouldn't work anymore after a few months of use of that thing. So that's that handle, and like I said, it's internal, so it's a lot safer and more beautiful. Now let's move on to the top handle. This thing right here is beautiful because not only does it have like the the microphone plugs to get like this one does. It also has the controls, but what this one does as well, it has the external mics right here. I mean, these mics are beautiful. In fact, here's a little test. Now we're gonna uh, sound test. We have the Taps, 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 ta the Tatscam DR, if you can see it, the Tatscam DR05X as a field recorder. And then we're using the internal mic of the uh, Canon ESO C100. So uh, here's the 100. Here's the Tatscam. So what do you think? I personally think that the Tatscam is a little bit deeper and richer, whereas the Canon, hopefully, it sounds just as good. So. So as you can see, the, the handle itself sounds really good, really good. And that's what that wire is for right there, as you can tell. I mean, if you're smart enough, you should be watching this, you're smart. And it has, the, it ha this is for the microphones who lead into your SD card. Now, it also has the controls for everything up top. Except this one doesn't have a, a this, this one has a folk, uh, zoom in and zoom out. This one doesn't have a zoom, zoom trigger right there at all. But it's still, it, to me, that just fucking looks good. That still looks really good. Now, I don't know if this was a normal thing with this camera. It might have just been MPB that did this. Um, but the handles came with this when I bought it. You know? Where this one, the brick that it is, did not come with the handles. I had to buy them separate. And this isn't even a Sony handle. It's a, it's from Small Rig. I, I got my lapel mic from Small Rig, this from Small Rig. I like small rig. I, I, I do. They're a good company. Anyways, so anyways, so I had to buy these cameras separate. Also with the form factor, look at that. Look how beautifully rounded that is. It just feels comfortable in the hand. This thing is a freaking brick. Look at that. That's, just, that's a brick. That's all that is. That is a brick. So that just messed it up right there. Now there is another thing that I really like about this camera over this one. It has built-in ND filters, built-in ND filters, right? And so, it, which makes it really nice in your middle of the, if you're in the middle of the day and you just need a quick, you know, whatever, it works. So built-in ND filters. Again, I'm not technical. You gotta go to people that are pros at this. Me, I just, I can change oil, but I can't tell you how to change oil. I can I can change spark plugs, but I don't know half the tools to use for it. I just say this tool fits and it works. And that's with the cameras. I, I know it works. I know it works. Another really beautiful thing is it has an exhaust fan. It, 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 you hear that. 
and it's beautiful. And that's the wonderful thing about it. It's quiet enough where it does not affect the microphone level whatsoever. So it's beautiful. Where this thing, this thing, no MD filters and nothing. You got to, is it going to, it's too bright. I don't know what to do. It's just no. And no exhaust fan. Is it going to blow up? I don't know. It, you can't tell. Is it going to blow up? I don't know. I'm scared of that thing. That, that, that thing just scares me at times. It scares me. But you know what? I like it. It's my baby. It's my first. I love it. So that was, that was, that was all the pros I love of this thing. And of course, there are more. The form factor, the pros. And again, if you want the technicalities, go find another person because I am not a teacher. I'm just saying, I like this. And this is what I like about it. I got to fix my camera again. Now, we're going to go to the one thing that is a big oopsie in their, in their foresight of this camcorder. In the later models, they fixed it, but in this model, for the price point that they're selling it, eh, I can see it. But anyways, but this model, yeah, let's, let's see what's here, the problem here. So here, we got a flip out screen. Oh yeah, yeah, it, it's a beautiful screen. It works really well. Then here, another flip out screen. We can see what we're doing. We can see what we're doing. Flip out screen, yet again, you can see what you're doing. Here, here again, here again. Oh yeah, you can, you can catch what you're doing. But can you tell me what's different here? Can you tell me which one is which? Let me show you. Which one's not like the others? Which one's not like the others? I can see myself when I'm vlogging. Hi there, handsome. How you doing? Hi there, handsome. How you doing? Hi there, handsome. How you doing? Even the lid, the lid, the, 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 the lens cover doesn't like this idea. I can't see myself. I'm not saying I should. I'm just saying I can't see myself. That's right. Nothing. It's just no, no, you can see what, see what the problem is. See, this is why it's a, it's a deal. It's, it's a, you messed up Canon. Actually, they didn't. It's just a little drawback. And honestly, in the newer, the newer models, the Mark, this is the Mark One, the Mark Two, they have a screen, and the later versions of the C uh, Cine cameras, they do do a much better job of the design-wise. In fact, uh, my next Cine camera, which I'm probably going to get next year, it's going to be the older models, but it'll have a flip-out screen. But if you are a type of person that does need a screen to see what you're doing, because I'm vain like that and I do need one, um, you can fix this problem. And these are the fixes right here. This is. Um, la, 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 ta, la taste, L, L, H, O, T, S, E. Got it from Amazon. It's like six dollars, seven dollars, right? And it has two little screw holes one for your monitor or whatever, and one for whatever you're plugging into. So this hole is already covered up, and I'll show you what that's for in just a second because this has the same screw hole and that would have fit just right in there. But this is a little bit bulky for me, and I don't want it 24 7 on here. But this, this handle that I bought, uh, has a lot of screw holes. So you can just put this somewhere on here and then boom, you're good. Tighten it down, right? You got, you got that there. Well here, this one is, this is from newer. They make a lot of great lighting and camera stuff. Well, that's what that slots for. It goes on this thing right here and boom. And then this thing goes wherever you need it to. So we are going to lock it down right here. Lock it down. And then boom. The reason why I like this right here versus any other one is because, and, and this one right here is because this, these, uh, these wheels, screws, they're locked in place. They can't go anywhere. So you take your monitor, you can take, oh wow, okay. Oh, I just noticed that. I just, oh. 
this is gonna be fun. Okay, so you take your jog wheel. And then now, your monitor can go where you need it to go. And boom. So if you don't like that position, it's wherever you need it to go. So the, that, that one little flaw that I have with it can be corrected whenever it needs to be corrected. So there you have it, the Canon CS100 cinematic camera. Ouch, I'm getting old. I hope this was informative. Again, there are a lot of people out there that have better technical reviews than I. I just wanted to show you what I loved and what I didn't like about this camera. And like I said, this is the one thing it, it can be simply replaced. Oh yeah, take it off, boom, that's simple. So anyways, I hope this was informative. I will see you guys in the next video and um, we're going to be hopefully doing some better things with this. So I'll see you on the rebound. Check you out. Just saying.